everyone. Uh, my name is Tracy Rushmer. I am an associate professor at Macquarie University and I've been here 10 years. I'm originally American. I came to Macquarie University because it is absolutely a fantastic place to do research. I was in the east coast of the U.S. and um, I saw an opportunity to come here and what happened is Macquarie gave me an opportunity to build my research lab and I've been here 10 years and enjoying it very much. Over the last couple of years, I've moved into a position where I can now travel to India, to Sri Lanka, to the Middle East, and talk to you about what we do at Macquarie University. It's a really innovative university. It was founded in 1964. It's a little bit over 50 years old. It consists of 40,000 students, so it's actually a relatively big university. And 25% of those students are international. And actually, as of this latest round this year, the Faculty of Science and Engineering, which I am in, we're now more international students than domestic. So one thing about Macquarie, it's a very diverse and international campus. The campus is composed of five faculties, the Faculty of Science and Engineering, the Faculty of Human Sciences, the Faculty of Medical and Health Sciences, the Faculty of Arts, and the Faculty of Business and um, Economics. The great thing about Macquarie University is not only its innovation in science research, but the fact of its physical location, which is only 15 kilometers outside of the central heart of Sydney, the central business district. Because of its location, and Sydney is growing, surrounding the university is Macquarie Park Innovation District. That includes things like Johnson & Johnson, Microsoft, small startups, um, fantastic opportunities for students for employment. So the environmental program at Macquarie University is one of the top rated uh, programs in the country. The Australian government does a national review and benchmarks all the universities across the nation and it ranks it between zero and five, five being the highest, three being the average and zero being the worst. Our environmental program ranks five. It's absolutely outstanding and it's much above world class. Um, it has attracted wonderful professors here. Um, we have nature papers and science papers, and it interlinks really well with two other departments, the Department of Earth and Planetary Sciences, which also ranks very highly, and the Department of Biology, which is a four. So we have four to five rankings between biology, EPS, and environmental science. So we have the Sydney Institute of Marine Science. It's called SIMS and it's actually a consortium of the four universities in the Sydney Basin. And it's a beautiful facility on the beautiful uh, bay and harbor of Sydney. Um, and there we do everything from study oysters to studying sharks. And where this is really important for understanding environmental change is that our oceans are warming due to climate change. And you'll be seeing this in Sri Lanka and southern India also. But the important thing is that the marine environment and the coastal environment and the internal environment all interact with each other. And what we're seeing um, is some really serious issues is with the Great Barrier Reef. Um, and I know that you'll have some issues um, in Sri Lanka and surrounding Sri Lanka with water quality, with the health of the living environment um, that you have both underwater and on land. Um, we have bleaching of coral reefs because of the, of the increase in heat of the water um, and also this changes that the migratory patterns of whales of, of sharks and the way sharks behave. Um, we have some really interesting shark research that's done at Sims but also up and down the coastline um, and that you can access that through Macquarie University. Um, we have facilities all up and down that we can even do marine uh, research on vessels. Well we're here um, to ask you to provide to us and, and in this contest a three minute video that you can do in a variety of different ways. So the video can be yourself talking, it can be friends of you standing around engaging in environmental issues that you see around you, it could be your environmental issues you see in the city that you live in, it could be what you see along the coastline like I was explaining before, it can be an animation, and it can be pictures and music. So here you are, you're sitting in Sri Lanka, you're, you're interested in Macquarie University and you're interested in Australia, come to us and tell us about your country, what environmental impact issues do you have? What do you see as a possible solution even? So what we want to see is creativity. We want to see your finesse with your technology. We want to see your innovation and potential possible solutions. So really bring to us your original thinking. Finally, I just want to say we really want to see what you can do. Show us your videos, show us your creativity and originality and original thinking and solutions to what you see of the world's environmental problems. I also really want to see you here on campus at Macquarie University.